Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Arlene. Today I have something very special. I am making chips. I am making chips using radishes. They're going to have all the consistency that you're looking for on your chips. They're going to be crunchy, tasteful, and you're going to be able to eat more than just one. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is our start of today radishes and I have uh, about five or six but I think um, I'm gonna need more these are medium-sized radishes but we're gonna measure once we cut them we're gonna use paprika onion powder garlic powder some olive oil and some salt I'm using uh, kosher salt just because I like uh, that it's a little thicker than the fine milled uh, salt okay let's get started First thing we're gonna do, my radishes are nice and clean already, and I'm gonna use my mandolin. I've used my mandolin in other videos. If you wanna see um, um, the information on it, uh, check on the other video. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is, and I have my mandolin set to number one, which is the very thin um, cutting. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our little radish ends. I'm gonna use my safety just because I'm terrified of this thing I'm gonna stick her in there and we're gonna go to town see and I have little radish chips and they're all the same size okay let's continue we're gonna need 7.77 ounces of this for one person. Okay, we are going to measure our radishes. I have done four of them and I only have four ounces so let's continue this is gonna be a lot <laughs> let's continue okay we made it to seven seven point seven that's a lot of radishes and a lot of chips okay this is what I do in a Ziploc bag I throw in all my radish uh, chips because they have become chips now. Okay, to the radishes in the Ziploc bag, we're gonna add a teaspoon of olive oil. I have half a teaspoon here, so I'm gonna do two. One, two. And before I put anything else in there, I'm gonna make sure that every radish chip is covered with the olive oil. This is going to be a lot. If you like chips, you're going to like me today. Okay. All my radishes appear to be covered. They're sticking to each other because they're so thin. Okay. So this bag, and you can do it in a bowl. I just do it in the bag because I have one less thing to clean. In this bag, we're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. A quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder. A quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm using powder on the garlic because it's gonna go in the high heat uh, in the oven and I don't want it to burn. So I think with the powder I'm safe. And a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Any salt you have. I'm using kosher, like I said, just because it's a little thicker. You know, it's not finely, finely milled. And that's what I like. Okay, I'm gonna close my Ziploc and I am going to massage all this goodness into my radishes. It looks so pretty. And it's gonna be so young and fulfilling. And these chips are a complete 
three greens. So all you gotta do is add a lean. And for the most part, I either do a turkey patty or you can do cottage cheese and dip it into the cottage cheese or even ricotta and dip it in. And you have your complete lean and green. No fuss, but delicious. And you just sit by the TV or outside now that it's summer and enjoy your lean and green. Okay, now. All my radishes are covered. They look so pretty and colorful. And I am going to use my trusty Silpat. I found this at um, Bed Bath & Beyond a couple of years. So I think I paid either $9.99 or $14.99. I have no idea. But you can use parchment paper or aluminum foil, but you have to spray it with non-stick spray. With this, I know it won't stick and they'll come out crunchy. That's one less condiment that I have to add. Now, this is the messy part. You're gonna grab, oh my gosh, they smell so good. You're gonna grab each radish, each chip, and you're gonna lay it flat in your cookie sheet. This is the time consuming part, but so worth it. Because you want this to be super duper crunchy. And the only way for that to happen is if they're in a single layer. They don't wanna get along right now. Okay, they're all getting along. I want to eat this one. It has a lot of paprika and a lot of goodness. That's the first one I'm going to eat. Okay, I'm going to put this into a 425 degree oven for 15, between 15 and 20 minutes. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 18 minutes and I think they're ready. Ah, they look beautiful and crunchy we're gonna try one let's see which one was the one that i wanted this one and you see they don't stick to my little seal pad okay let's try it mm. crunchy salty and spicy all the components you look for a chip and there you have it guys radish chips thank you so much for watching Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next video. Enjoy.